this time we're going to go a little bit different. We're going to go backwards of what we do because we tend to go teach you one way and then teach you the opposite way. So this time we're going to be writing down the formulas and ask you to write the names down, which let's yes. just jump let's right just in and take an example. You just need examples here, folks. Let's try one. So let's go with... Um, so CaSO4. So remember the rule here is you always write down the anion first. So calcium, Ca is calcium, right? Now we have to find and ask ourselves, do we need a Roman numeral? There's calcium, look at the pretty tail right here. Group two. No. Doesn't need calcium. one. And uh, SO4, got my trusty table right here, and it's sulfate. And I'm, I'm going to say this, naming is actually really, really easy. Yeah. The only thing you have to worry about ever is if you have the Roman numerals, because if you know the names of these, you can just write them down. That's it, folks. Okay? I, I think we need to do the one with Roman numerals, because those can be a little trickier. So get, let's do another one. That's right. All right. Let's go with... Um, all right, Cu2CO3. So first name is Cu copper. So that's right, copper. The copper. And now, look at the periodic table right here, and you'll notice that copper is a transition metal. So we need a Roman numeral. So he's going to put the Roman numeral brackety thing. Yeah. And now the last name is easy. Again, get the table guy out. Carbonate. But now we have to like write out our quantities, right? Easy for me to write poorly. Carbonate. Yeah. Carbonate. So let's write CuCO, Cu, Cu. And then By the way, that's CO3. because we have two of these. Yeah, because right there's here. two coppers. And then we have one, one of these CO3. Now, I want to be really clear, it is a mistake sometimes students make. This is one unit of CU or CO3. CO3. It's not three units of something, and that's sometimes we get a little bit tricked on. But we have one of these CO3s and we have two of these. And I have to find the charge. You always know the charge of the anion. And when you look at your table here, carbonate has a charge of minus two. Now I need to figure out what the charges are here. That adds up to two minus. That needs to add up to two positive. So what does each copper's charge have to be? Has to be plus oh, no. one. So I, I like to just write a plus in there, but if you happen to be the one that yeah. writes plus one, go for it. So but the Roman numeral is tricky. Now here's a, this one is actually quite tricky. Very often I see students take this two Always. and call this copper two. It's not the number, it's the what? The, the charge. charge. It's the charge. It's the charge. It really is I think we charge. should do one more example. Let's do one that um, we've seen before, but we're going to do it the little bit opposite route. Let's do this. Let's do NH4, parentheses 3, PO3. Okay. So we'll name the, an, or the cation first. So NH4 is one of those poly weirds. He's the only poly that has a one charge, so that's named ammonium. Again, some people get a little freaked out by that 3, but we're not going to get freaked what? out by now, that. Now, is he a transition metal? <laughs> it's, no, because it's, it's a poly ion. Yeah, it's the, the so, kind of, and then we just name PO3, and PO3, again, trusty table, it's phosphite. Fight. Don't get confused with phosphate, which is PO4, but you'll find that on your table. That's it, guys. Yeah, this is the end of the naming. You don't have to do anything else with it, which seems almost too simple when you have all this ugliness here. This ends up being the name. One of the things I'd encourage you with as you're going through these is just realize that once you've got a couple of them done, they're all the same. The only thing you have to worry about is do you know your ions, which you probably should and know. And in class, you're gonna just be doing lots of practice and it's gonna come second nature to you. That's what we hope. Hey. All right, we got you. We'll see you in class. You guys hey. are awesome. Take care.